In this video, we're looking at how you would find a probability using your normal distribution techniques. So to start with with each of these examples, we're going to look at how you do it with a graphics calculator, which is probably the easier way of the two, and then how you do it by hand. So to start with, we'll look at a problem and as usual, we'll just work through it and try and learn as we go. So here you're going to get a type of question like this where you're asked to find a probability. It will say something like, nutty snack bars are produced on machines operated by shift workers. The weights of the bars are normally distributed, which means they're spread out, with a mean, an average, of 41 grams and a standard deviation of 0.8 grams. We need to find out what the probability is that a nutty snack bar weighs between 41 and 42.2 grams. So here's how we would do that. They've asked us to find a probability by saying what is a probability. They've told us the mean, they've told us the standard deviation, and they've given us two weights to find a probability between. So to start with on your calculator, go to the main menu. Then when you're in the main menu, press stat. So the statistics one, where it is will vary on what version of a graphics calculator you have. Once you've done that, press dist up the top, which is the button F5. Once you press dist, press norm, which will come up as F2 once you press the dist button. Now these are the three steps that you follow in all of your calculator solving problems. Stat, dist, norm. This means you've got normal, distribution, and statistics. That's what it means. Once you're in this menu, you're going to have three options. Now if you're finding a probability like we are in this video, you're going to press NCD. So that's the button you're going to press, which is F1 on your calculator. Now once you're into this, you're going to get a screen that looks something like this. It will vary depending on what version of the calculator you have, but the principles will remain the same. Ultimately, when you see this screen, you need to input your data. Now the first piece of data you need to put in is your lower limit. Now it might just write as lower or upper, it will depend. Now lower just means your lower limit. In this case with the grams, our lower limit is the 41 grams. That's the lightest one we want to have. And the upper, on the other hand, is 42.2 grams. We need to input our standard deviation and our mean, and then we're going to work out our answers. Now it says in the question that our standard deviation was 0.8 grams. It also tells us that there's a mean of 41 grams. It tells us that our lower limit is that 41 grams and our upper limit is 42.2 grams. So we just need to type each of these in next to their relevant factors, the upper, lower, standard deviation and mean, and each time after we've typed it, you press execute to save it in your calculator. Once they're all saved, press execute again, or you can press the solve button at the top here as well, that will work too. And that is going to give us an answer. In this case, it's 0 0.43319. Now your calculator is actually going to show a whole list of different things, but you only need to look for the one that says probability equals and then gives you your answer. So in actual fact here, we can see that 43.319% of nutty snack bars weigh between 41 and 42.2 grams. But for your question, you don't need to write down a percentage, you just need to write down this number that your calculator has given you. So remember this process, stat this norm. Now if, like we are in this video, you're trying to find a probability, you press NCD. Then you're just going to list your factors in there, press execute, and the calculator does all of the calculating for you. And it will tell you your probability that comes up. Now, the probability won't be the only thing that comes up, but you can just ignore all the other things that come up with it. Just read probability. Now let's see how we would answer the same question, but by hand, using our formulas in the Z sheet. Firstly, we have to write out the formula that we've given. This is the only one we need for normal distribution. Then we have to list what we know. We know we've got this bell curve, it has a mean of 41, and we want to know the z-score between 41 and 42.2 grams. Now we know the lower limit, the first number of interest is 41, the second number of interest is the 42.2, we have a standard deviation of 0 0.8, and we have a mean of 41 grams. So we have to plug each of these numbers into this formula so we can get two z-scores. Now we're going to get two z-scores because we have two x values. So we're going to do it once with this x1, the first number of interest, to find a z-score. Then we're going to do it again with the second z-score, with 42.2. So plugging in both of these numbers into this formula, here we've got 42.2 as our number of interest, here we've got 41 as our number of interest, we find two answers for our z-score. 
The 42.2 grams is 1.5 standard deviations away from the mean. And no surprises, but the z-score of 41 is zero standard deviations from the mean because 41 is also the mean. So we're on the right track here. We then look at our z table. Now we're going to go down to 1.5 on this left-hand column here to find 1.5. Then we're going to go across the top just to zero because there's nothing after the 1.5 in our z-score. And then we're going to find the number which matches up with both of these. That's 0 0.4332. Now that we've found that, that gives us our probability. And no surprises, but that is the same as what we got with our calculator. And it should be because the calculator uses this formula to solve our problem. Now if you want to get technical and look up the probability of something having a z-score of zero, we could look that up on the table as well. So we can see that at 0, 0.00, that gives us a probability of zero. And that sounds right, because there's a zero probability that will exist between 41 and 41. There's no gap there. So therefore, our overall probability that something will have a weight between 41 grams and 42.2 grams is 0 0.4332. Let's look at one more question along the same lines. In this question, we're still talking about nutty snack bars, and we've still got a mean of 41 and a standard deviation of 0 0.8 grams, but now they're asking us what percentage of nutty snack bars weigh more than 42 grams. Now, in order to do this, we need to know on our graph, we've got the limit of 42 grams. We want to know everything above that. Again, we're going to go into the statistics icon in our menu. We're going to press distribution, then normal, and then again NCD because a percentage means a probability. Now we know we have a lower limit of 42 grams because we're looking at what percentage of Nutty Snack Bars weigh more than the 42 grams. Therefore we'll put in our lower as 42. Then we put in our upper as just 9999999. So we just want to put in some ridiculously big number because nothing's going to weigh like 10 tons. Now once we put in our upper limit, again we plug in our standard deviation and our mean, and then we press execute. Once we've pressed execute, that's going to give us a probability of 0 0.10564. And that is the probability that something's going to weigh more than 42 grams. But we're not quite done. It does ask us specifically for a percentage, not just a probability. So if you ever need to change to a percentage, you multiply by 100. So multiplying this by 100 gives us a 10.564% chance that a nutty snack bar will weigh more than 42 grams. If we were going to do the same example by hand, now we'd have to write out our formula. We'd then have to write down what we know. We know that it's above 42 grams. That's our number of interest. Our standard deviation is still 0 0.8 and our mean is still 41. We plug those numbers in and we solve for a z-score. Now that we know we have a z-score of 1.25, we can go to our handy z-table and look it up. So we go down on this column to 1.2 and go across to column 5 and find out what number matches up with those two. And that is 0 0.3944. Now that we know that number, 0 0.3944, we've actually found the probability that something will exist from the mean up to 42 grams. That's this section in here. We're always finding the number between the mean and somewhere else if we're using a z-chart table. But in actual fact, we're not interested in this little section between 41 and 42. We're interested in the top section up here above 42 grams. Now we can figure that out by knowing that this whole side over here is 0 0.5. It's a half in this top section. Therefore, if we have a half in total, and we take away what we already know, we're only going to be left with the shaded area, which is what we want to find. So that's why we can do 0 0.5, this whole right-hand side, minus 0.3944, this section in here, and that leaves us with 0 0.1056, which is the same as what we found on our calculator. Therefore, again, we get that the percentage that weighs more than 42 grams is 10.56 when we multiply our probability by 100. And that would be your answer. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can find a probability, one, using your calculator, and secondly, by hand if you need to.